We're following breaking news at 6. The search for a young woman who disappeared while on her way home from work. The last anyone heard, Chloe Stein said she was getting pulled over by police. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso joining us now live in Greensburg, where investigators have located her vehicle. Jen, what's the latest? That's right. So a uh, spokesperson for state police tells me that he will be arriving at the barracks uh, soon to update reporters on the latest on this missing person search. 23 years old. That is Chloe Stein's age. She was set to graduate from Penn State, Greater Allegheny this weekend. Her mother is desperate for answers. She tells me that Chloe's boyfriend was the last person to communicate with her via text, and it was her boyfriend and two friends who found Chloe's car earlier today, not far from where she worked. Now, here's the timeline that we know. Just after 10 p.m. last night, Chloe's mom tells me her daughter finished working at the Sonic in Hemfield Township. She drove a co-worker home and returned back to the Sonic. State police say Chloe was last seen leaving there at 1030 and about 10 minutes later, her boyfriend Nick, her mom tells me, said he got a text message from Chloe saying she got pulled over by police. Now, Chloe never made it home to Jeanette, and that's when her mom, family, and friends started looking for her. And we just started calling police stations saying, like, did somebody pull her over? This is her license plate number. Um, has anybody pulled, you know, anybody in that description over? And nothing. I don't know if it was like she truly was pulled over by a police officer or not, I don't know, we don't know, because we have, don't have confirmation that she was issued a citation, a warning, anything like that. Within a matter of 30 minutes, her boyfriend had said uh, he and his friends were out and they had found her car. Chloe's mom tells me inside her Volkswagen, her cell phone was found but not found her wallet or keys, her mom tells me, and her car was pointed in the direction of her home in Jeanette. Right now, state police actively investigating this. If you have any information, call them. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK-TV News.